The following UW 360 story is made possible by the generous support of BECU. BECU, more than just money. Welcome back to UW 360. Solar energy is a clean energy source that even in the cloudy Pacific Northwest is abundant and renewable. And now, as Austin Seedentoff reports, researchers at the UW's Clean Energy Institute are developing the technology to make solar panels thinner, lighter, and more affordable than ever. You see them on houses, on apartments, and government buildings. And even on University of Washington campuses. Solar cells, soaking up the sunlight and turning it into energy. We're very interested in solar here at the Clean Energy Institute because solar is the most abundant renewable resource that there is. David Ginger is the Institute's Associate Director and Quirum Professor of Chemistry at UW. He'd like to see solar panels on every rooftop. The Washington Research Foundation Distinguished Scholar says that the key to making them more appealing to consumers is to make them more affordable. If you want to decrease the cost of your solar cells, you want to decrease the materials cost, but you also want to decrease the manufacturing cost, and you want to decrease the installation cost. Solar panels have traditionally been built from very brittle material. You can see if I flex it, it shatters into many pieces. So that's the most common material you'd find on people's houses. But Ginger and other researchers are working on developing a solar cell that's thinner, cheaper, and more durable. We're looking at a, a thin film uh, plastic photovoltaic cell that was printed here at the university. Um, you can print the active layer, and it's completely flexible. You can imagine rolling it up. Um, you can install this by unrolling it like you would install by unrolling carpet. My work in particular is making conductive silver inks. Graduate students William Huang and James Clark are members of the Clean Energy Institute's research team. We work on really fundamental different materials that aren't out there right now to try and understand them better so that we can increase the efficiency of the final device. To demonstrate the power of these solar inks, they've even built a solar-powered toy car. The solar material on top converts energy from light into mechanical energy. One of the main highlights of working in the lab is to be able to work on something new and it's really exciting to be the first person to try something out and I think that sort of encompasses the research experience at, at the University of Washington. We really want solar energy to be adopted everywhere and that means that it has to be cost effective and so we're, we're putting in batteries and other Institute director Daniel Schwartz hopes to accelerate research and innovation with the creation of the clean energy test beds. The beds will be a maker space for alternative electronic and battery materials technologies. They'll also be a place to study renewable energy integration with the smart grid. They're being built near the Seattle campus and are scheduled to open in 2017. The clean energy test beds will also be a spot where global strategic partners, the companies that might be able to take an idea that comes out of the university to the next level and bring it to the masses. Schwartz says the test beds will allow researchers to print solar cells in huge sheets or rolls, much like newsprint. He hopes it can make solar energy more affordable to consumers and reduce the dependence on fossil fuels. Everybody knows that this is extremely important. They have a sense, a visceral sense, that there is a need to, to pour energy into clean energy. In 2014, a team of students led the effort to install solar panels on the Mercer Court apartments. Now, students want to expand that project by adding solar panels to several other buildings, including Kane Hall, right in the heart of campus. 